All right, so we're gonna open up the app and it looks like any other ride sharing app. So you have the map pulled up, pick up where we are, and the blue marks actually show you where the cars will safely be able to pick you up from the side of the road. So we'll do confirm pickup, that's where we are, and then confirm drop off, and we're good to go. All right, here we go. Did you hear that? The door's just locked. And we are off. You know, the first couple of seconds, you're excited. You're in the first ever self-driving robo-taxi. And then afterward, you realize, yeah, it's just like a car ride. But the difference is, you know that there isn't a human in control. It's been a pretty smooth ride so far. The navigation screen shows you the path the car will be taking and also lights up when they detect objects, the sensors detect objects on the side of the road. When you can actually see what the brains of the car are thinking, that's pretty incredible. A very conservative right turn that just happened now. Very standard kind of USB charging ports. Um, and of course the most important part is where are the cup holders? They're actually pretty conveniently <laughs> uh, settled right uh, here in front of the passengers. There is a panel, a control panel at the top of the car. There's also braille at the top for those who are visually impaired. And there's also a camera that records everything that happens in the cabin of the car. So we're on the map now and if we look at a different view, you can see sort of an overhead view. And then the other the other two buttons are pulling over or calling support. There's also a car seat in the back for those who are carrying their children with them and they don't want to, of course, carry a car seat. So what's really cool too about the screen is you can see that we're at a light and the screen actually shows right now that we're at a traffic light. Um, but just look at the number of cars. While there's the safety driver, you're actually not really supposed to talk to them. But of course, you can say good morning, hello, uh, goodbye, uh, but no, no conversation. Which for some of us, especially in New York, that's exactly what we want. We want to get into a car. Okay. Thank you again.